Hello and welcome along this POV street photography session here on a rainy day in Bangkok. I got the GoPro on top of my Sony a7S III and I'm just gonna narrate this video. It's gonna be a bit of a vlog, not my best, most successful photo shoot of all time, just an average day out taking street photos and try to have a good time. In this narration I'm gonna share some tips, but mostly it's just supposed to just be kind of like a behind the scenes POV vlog, if you will. My goal on this day is just to shoot some digital photos and edit them in a very dark way, inspired by the Ektachrome 100 film. I did a video on that some days ago. And these kind of rainy stormy days are perfect for this kind of dark Lightroom edits that are minimal and dark. Let me know if you'd like to see some more editing tutorials, by the way, I haven't done one in a while. But anyway, I'm also just trying to capture the people versus the storm. It is raining quite hard, like it often does during the rainy season here in Thailand. I never did a 360 video before and it's quite fun how much you can see and how you can edit this footage. And here I'm just like getting started and trying to get some photos of people passing by. And for the most part on this day, I'm really just shooting for the edit. I want to make the photos dark, which means that I need some artificial lighting like car lights or just highlights and I thought the clear umbrella of this lady would be a good subject so I waited for her to pass and did a composition it didn't really work of course but that was my thinking there another thing that I'm focusing on today is trying to get some moody photos of bus windows no shooting bus windows is a bit of a crap shoot especially when they're moving so every single bus that goes by I'm just trying to capture it and most of the time I get nothing but let's see if it pays off in the end and I get a decent photo of that eventually. Now here's a guy with a funny hat, has also a theme of today, there's many improvised umbrella systems for people who were not prepared for some reason. And as you can see it is raining quite hard and there's a risk that the streets will get flooded. If you've seen my other videos you know what happens when the streets get flooded. There's gonna be a bunch of cockroaches that get washed out and if you stay still for too long they will grab onto you so that is one of the reasons that i don't want to stay still for very long even though sometimes it's better to be patient and stay still it's not really a risk that i feel like taking because i'm not kidding about those roaches anyway these photos are pretty decent nothing special but they work with the dark edits and uh, i'm just trying to capture everything that i can and don't mention my mask, it slipped, okay. You can't really see it, but I am adjusting my settings quite a lot. But because it is daytime, there's still quite a lot of light available. And my camera is a Sony, it is very good at high ISO. So I'm basically just shooting with a very high shutter speed up to like 1000th of a second. And um, I'm adjusting my ISO with the exposure compensation, meaning that I have my camera set on automatic ISO. And then I just do the exposure compensation to kind of approximate the level. Then I choose my shutter speed based on if I'm moving myself. I drop it a little bit if I'm not moving and I'm staying still. But if I'm moving or a subject is moving, I'll just go to like 1000th of a second and not too concerned about ISO. And the uh, same deal with the f-stop. And I'm just capturing everyone that goes by and uh, sometimes hoping to catch some interesting stories or emotions. One thing about shooting in these times is that everyone is wearing a mask and while that is not very special at the moment, I figure in five years those photos are gonna look way more interesting, kind of like a, you know, a time piece back to this time. I mean, at least I hope. I hope we're not wearing masks in five years from now, but who knows. And I just like the dark vibes with some light coming from mostly cars. This guy is shopping for essentials, beer and toilet paper. And you see many attempts of me trying to take photos of the bus windows. I'm not even showing those shots because they were completely wasted. But eventually I'll get some photos. And here I'm trying to capture a moment again. You can see the streets starting to get suspiciously flooded but on this street is not not as bad as on the side streets so luckily i haven't been 
having encounters with the roaches just yet. And I thought it's fun how well the GoPro maintains the horizon, even though I'm flipping the camera and it's on top of my camera, but it maintains the horizon because of some AI and that is pretty cool. And as you see another failed attempt at a bus photo, we're about to see uh, one of my favorite photos of the day of these women who are both using very improvised umbrellas and I thought it was telling a fun story, especially this shot. For a moment I switched to regular recording on the GoPro because I never did the 360 and I wanted to make sure I have at least some footage and I walked up this thing to try to get an overhead perspective. In hindsight the 360 recording is much cooler, no reason to record this really. Except maybe it's faster to edit but it's not even that bad to edit those 360 so I'll stick to the 360 in the future. And here's a cinematic leading lines shot that is not terrible. And I waited here in this spot for a little bit, but ultimately the photos weren't really that special. I was a little bit disappointed. It's not that interesting, to be honest, but at least there's some color contrast. But it was time to head back on the street level. And uh, you guessed it, I was trying to take some more photos of those bus windows, because at least it offers some opportunity for interesting shots. And this one's not too bad, except the advertisement or whatever billboard is a bit positioned a bit awkwardly, and it's really not perfect. And now we see some sun starting to come out on the other side, resulting in very bright highlights. And it doesn't really fit my style. Here we see some leading line shots. And I was trying to edit black and white photos because the colors really don't work or look that interesting to me. It's one of those things that looks cool in real life, but then in the photos it's not my style so I can't use it. Her, I was trying to take a photo of her shirt to see what it says, but after reading this I am way more confused than I was before. Cute hat though. Here we're about to see one of my favorite shots of the day as well, the guy with the yellow umbrella that is coming up. Unfortunately I wasn't positioned perfectly, but I still managed to somehow get a decent composition from very close up. And his eyes and the mask system looks pretty cool to me. And here's also a very cool shot because of the subject. And uh, looks like I'm getting snipered, even though that is just the GoPro recording button. Luckily, or unluckily, depending on your opinion of me. This kind of annoyed me when I watched this back, because that window looks like it would have some potential for very moody shots, but I literally just walked past it and didn't notice it. So that's one fun reason to use a 360 camera, I guess. And here we see another bus photo, composition getting decent, some moody window shots. But not enough steam, too many posters and shit, it's not really that interesting. And here we see another guy with the improvised umbrella system, surprisingly many of these around. And by this time, the highlights are just getting very bright and my style again is not really working. I tried to do some black and white minimal shots here of the bridge. Technically, nothing wrong with the photos. I just don't like it. And here's something interesting. I don't know which point I took this photo, but somebody's clearly like studying under the stairways. And it would be interesting if you actually caught the person who was drawing this, but now it's Obviously not really a photo other than a documentary. And then we see a rainbow forming, which is of course cool in real life, but my type of photography doesn't really suit it and my lens is not wide enough to really capture it, but it was cool to see nonetheless. And the weather is getting really interesting with this half rain, half sun kind of situation. And after the sun goes down, I still try to stubbornly get some bus photos. But again, it's not really working for several reasons the reflections are kind of on the way, which I only noticed 
after this photo and took so long to wait for the buses that eventually I gave up and uh, here you see me review the photos and then look to the right and see that unfortunately the reflections are coming from the bus stop which I only noticed after I waited there for like 15 minutes for a bus to perfectly align itself and I'm like kind of laughing at myself face palming but that's how it goes sometimes these bus photos are something you can take anywhere really so you don't have to wait for them and that was all for the shoot I got a couple of photos that are usable nothing that is really going in my portfolio but I had fun and it was fun doing a POV photo shoot for the first time in many years and I'm probably going to be doing more of these later especially I'm hoping to do a better job on those upcoming photo shoots I'm going to be traveling hopefully soon so stay tuned for that and uh, let me know if I talked too much on this uh, if you like the narration of you if you'd like me to touch on some other subjects and uh, like the video leave me a comment on YouTube Subscribe to the channel and uh, check out my other videos. Thank you very much.